Alright, so here are the top five hardest puzzles in my collection. If you want to see my easiest, click right there. It's I've actually uploaded that a long time ago, so yeah. Alright, let's get into it. By the way, this pyraminx is not part of it. It's actually a really easy puzzle. Alright, so the first puzzle I've decided to put in here in number five is the 7x7. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, it is not much harder than a 5x5. Five five. It's just tedious that makes it hard to solve, I guess. And I feel like I just had to put this on here because although it is tedious, you kind of do have to have a bit of patience to solve this, depending on how fast you are. So that's the only reason why I'm putting this here. Alright, so next up, we have the fish cube. Now, in case you didn't know, this is a 3x3 three three shape mod. So, if I put it like this, this is the center. These are the corners, edges, corner, edge, center, edge. And it's basically a 3x3 three three shape mod. So, you can turn it like this, up, down, front, back, left and right side here is a J perm on the on the Fisher cube and it's basically like that so the reason why it's hard is even though it's just a 3x3 three three, the pieces look different so it can kind of be hard to grasp your head around this and sometimes you can get a parody which looks something like this where an edge is flipped and you can get something like this where a center, center is twisted, so you have to think of something for that. But once you get the hang of it, it's really not too hard. And I can even do all oil and peeler on this pretty easily. But it is still a very hard puzzle because sometimes you just don't really know what you're doing. So that's number four. And number three, we have another shape mod. It's the Master Morphics. So, like I said, it's another 3x3 three three shape mod. But although this time it's a little, lot more ridiculous. So you might not be able to see it, but here's the center. Edges, corners. And yeah, so this is the top layer. This is the bottom layer. Right, left, front, back. Now this version is even harder to solve than the Fisher Cube. Now the Fisher Cube has these top and bottom centers that actually uh, they don't twist, as you can uh, as you know these centers they they can like twist, but these centers don't. But on the Master Morphics, every single center can twist, and also the pieces are awkwardly shaped as well. Like this is a corner, but this is a corner also, and like these are edges. Where the Fish Cube, it's a lot more. I guess uh, it makes a lot more sense because it's it, it's got like a top layer, bottom layer, and the middle layer, and it makes a lot of sense. Well, this one is like it, it it doesn't really have a top and bottom because it's not a cube; it's a pyramid shape. So it is pretty hard, but once you get the hang of it, you can solve it. Okay, in number two, we have quite a mainstream puzzle. Or WC event, I should say. It is the square one. So I actually solved this on it on, on my own without using some sort of pamphlet or looking up a tutorial. I mean, I I had to come up with a pamphlet by myself. You can see I do that in this video, and then there's like some other video where I basically explain how I did it. But it was not easy. This puzzle, as you can see as I'm turning it, shape shifts quite a lot. So if I were to scramble it, okay, actually, firstly, how this puzzle works is basically there's a top layer, there's a bottom layer, and there's a slice layer. It looks pretty simple, but the slice layer can turn when there's a line here and a line here. So you can go like this, slice, and the, oh, it already looks weird. But you can do this, slice, slice, and you just keep on going. 
let's just scramble it even more it it gets really ridiculous and yeah just I definitely got lucky in the in solving this as well so it is it is a very hard puzzle and because there's shape shifting there's also a bit of bandaging so sometimes it doesn't even turn so that's why I put this puzzle on number two okay here's the last puzzle you might be able to guess it it is this this is the gear cube extreme not the regular gear cube but the extreme version so basically what it is it's basically a gear cube so in in case you don't know what the gear cube is basically on some sides you can turn it and basically uh if you do a double turn basically the middle goes by one so as you can see i've just done a full turn and the 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 it basically has gears that basically make it move weirdly. But on the Gear Cube Extreme, the top and bottom layers, they rotate independently. So we can do a 90 degree turn and we can still turn it. This makes it extremely hard. I actually do not know how to solve this. Actually, I, I do know how to solve most of it, but... Uh, like, uh, like, like there's like this one step at the end we have to like twist the edges and there's a reason why i don't know how to do that uh, it's not because i'm lazy it's because uh this puzzle it, it's a really defective one but as you can see these edges they just twist on their own and the i actually don't know but i'm pretty sure when an edge twists on its own it's basically an unsolvable case so I just haven't learnt the edge twisting algorithms because the edges they, they twist on their own so much that I think they get parody or if the case is solved if the case is something that's like a valid case then I just twist it on my own because I can't be bothered to learn the algorithms. So those are the five hardest puzzles I should say in my collection. Obviously there are way harder puzzles than this. But in my collection, just these ones just happen to be the hardest. So tell me what you think about these and tell me if you have another puzzle that might be harder to solve than these. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.